My name is Alexandre Carrivo-Bourque, and I've been working for over a decade on projects that promote the strengthening and recognition of vulnerable communities' rights to their land and natural resources. Land tenure underpins virtually every aspect of conflict transformation, uh, whether we're talking about rebuilding public infrastructure, private housing, improving access to water, rebuilding local livelihoods and reviving local economies, or restoring the trust between and within local communities. One of the big obstacles from a programmatic perspective is that uh, land and natural resource tenure projects are still treated as niche or sectoral issues rather than issues that are cross-cutting to the success of most projects. Also, tenure rights are often seen by donors, governments, uh, the private sector actors, humanitarian actors, development actors as, a, as an obstacle to be avoided or as a risk to be mitigated rather than as an opportunity for engaging with local communities uh, to transform conflict into a more sustainable, uh, stable future. So the risk of uh, compartmentalizing tenure into this niche issue or uh, taking shortcuts or ignoring it completely is that it risks actually creating much bigger problems down the road and especially uh, with repercussions for vulnerable local communities. All projects that rely on access to land and natural resources must start with a rights verification process. And that rights verification process needs to lead into meaningful negotiations with local communities based on the principles outlined by free prior and informed consent. Yeah. Ignoring rights costs money, uh, whether from community resistance and conflict that emerges once the project has uh, started to uh, be implemented. Um, but co local communities and vulnerable individuals are often the ones who bear the uh, highest costs of conflict so any project that wants to do at minimum no harm needs to start with a robust land rights verification process and uh, requesting free prior informed consent from local communities. Tenure verifications need to be adapted to every uh, conflict and governance context. Uh, for example, a tenure verification area where communities' rights are secure and people have strong trust in their institutions, the verification process can actually be very quick. But in communities where that have been historically marginalized, that have been affected and displaced by conflict, and where they have low trust in institutions, this process will probably take some time, and implementers are, need to be willing to invest the time and go at the community's own pace. Land Portal is a valuable resource and guide for practitioners who are grappling with these types of issues. Their library has dozens of reports and toolkits on FPIC, on consultation with communities, and on how to gauge with local institutions.